Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. All right, we just got back from a walk, two mile walk. Oh my gosh, it's time. Um, it's time for dinner. It's been the craziest weekend. Like everything you can imagine happening has happened. It has been. So we're thinking about this week. What are we going to do this week um, in this series that we're yeah for the 100 calories yeah. per meal, uh, 1200. I think we're going to show you. Yeah. So I was at the homecoming football game. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. And and someone said, ah, we love your. Um, bell pepper the stuffed stuff. peppers yeah yeah and i was like so i just was thinking about that and we were thinking for ideas and so yeah you know who you are thank that, you very much for the inspiration for some reason like someone at school watched that video when it first came out and now the whole school has tried that recipe well like it just a lot of that. people yes, yeah yeah so it's just odd that that one recipe they lashed out to so people are using this recipe for holidays um this serves as a good meal prep um it's one of those recipes that you can make all the components for, and then when someone comes over, quick, put it in the oven to go yeah. so it's hot. So yeah. Put it in the refrigerator the night before. This is a really yeah. flexible recipe. And uh, at the end of this video, after the food, we'll go over some uh, other mm -hmm. ideas to make this work for, for your palate. Okay. Yeah, but I kind of want you to see how much food you'll get. If you uh, want to be a supporter of the show, click on uh, the link below for Patreon and PayPal, and you can help us uh, with financial donations. Uh, if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, click on that. Do you know what the biggest comment we got on that last video we did? Um, I don't know, seeing the picture of all the food? No, people are like, Joey, nice rack. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe, maybe all that walking is starting to work and people are starting to notice. I don't know. Right back at you. All right, should we uh, show them what we did? Let's roll it. All right, let's get to the food. We're gonna make our tomato sauce first. Let's break out the Instapot. Most of this meal is made in the Instapot, which is a fancy way for saying, it's too hot in Arizona to turn on the oven. I'm gonna start off with a tablespoon of water and I'm gonna set my Instapot to saute. Once that water starts steaming, which is gonna be pretty quick, I'm gonna start adding my aromatics. The first thing to go in is two whole onions diced. I'm gonna move that around and let that cook for about five minutes until the onions are soft and translucent. After about five minutes, they should look just like they do here, nice and soft. These look perfect, we're ready to move on. I'm gonna take out about half of the onions and put them in a bowl and save them to use later on. I only need one onion for this part, but I wanted to cook them both at the same time. Now for the rest of the sauce ingredients, we've got one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one cup of vegetable broth, I'm just using better than bouillon, then I'm adding one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Next it's a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm going to grab my spoon and give this a little mixy mixy to get it nice and mixed up. And you can see here it's looking really good. I'm already loving the color of this. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of salt as this starts to simmer. And then when I use my spoon, mix it up and let it simmer for about five minutes. You can see here it's bubbling and simmering and it's coming along nicely. This will be the sauce that lays in the bottom of our baking dish for the peppers. After about five minutes, I'm gonna shut off the heat and remove the insert. I've got a 13 by nine baking dish here and I'm just gonna dump this sauce in slowly so it doesn't splatter all over me and burn me. And I'm gonna get it all out of that uh, insert and spread it around with my spoon here. There, it looks really nice, that's ready to go. I'm just gonna pick this up and set it aside till I need it later on. Now I'm gonna put this insert right back into the Instapot and let's continue on. In the cold Instapot, I haven't turned it on yet, I'm gonna add the rest of the onions that we separated earlier. This is gonna be our lentil filling here. Next I'm adding three quarters of a cup of rinsed lentils. Next it's about four to five garlic cloves, grated or minced. Now I'm adding mm, about two carrots shredded. Next I've got one quarter of a cup of tomato paste and it came out in one shot, sweet. Now for my spices. I've got a teaspoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Look how beautiful those spices look. The colors are amazing. That's a bowl of health right there. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that evenly right over my mixture. I'm also gonna throw in one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of water, and then I'm gonna grab my spoon and give this a nice little mixy mixy and get this all incorporated and combined. I wanna make sure it's all ready to pressure cook here. It's time to start cooking. Let's get that lid put on, I'm gonna lock it in place, set it to sealing position, and let it cook on manual pressure for six minutes. After the six minutes is up, I'm gonna do a manual release. I always like to put a rag on here so the steam doesn't go all over the ceiling. 
Not that that could happen, but you never know. You'll know when the Instapot's ready to open because this pin right here will drop into the Instapot. You can see here it's kind of flush with the surface of the Instapot. Just keep an eye on it. And right there, you can see it just dropped in. That means there's no longer any pressure in the Instapot and you can remove the lid. Now that I can open the Instapot, I'm gonna take the lid off and you can see the steam coming out here and look at those beautiful lentils. They absorbed all the water, there's no excess water. They're moist, but still firm. This looks absolutely perfect. It's gonna make a nice filling right here. Look at that, they look amazing. Now it's time to finish the filling. I took the insert out of the Instapot because we don't need it anymore. And I'm just gonna use it as a mixing bowl here. So next I'm adding two cups of already cooked rice. I cooked this early in the week and it was left over. So I'm just gonna to toss this in here. Next is a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm using fire roasted, that's what we have, but you can just use regular diced tomatoes. Next, it's about a teaspoon of salt. After that, I'm just doing some pepper to taste here. And then I'm adding about a pinch of cayenne pepper. Now I've got two cups of spinach and we've cut it into ribbons. And then finally, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I'm grabbing my spoon and I'm gonna give this a nice mixy mixy here and try and get this all combined together. This is my filling right here. And take a look at this. This is what's going in the peppers. Look how amazing that looks. You've got your rice, you've got your tomatoes, the lentils, the spinach. This looks absolutely beautiful. This is gonna make a nice filling. All right, now I've got one of each color pepper because you know how I am. And I'm grabbing the green one first and I'm just gonna stuff these things one at a time with as much stuffing as I can get into these things. Be real liberal with the stuffing. You wanna get these filled up. And I'm patting them down, but then Tim's behind me saying, don't pat them down, don't make them look squished. So now I'm trying to not make them look squished. But you can see how beautiful this filling is in this lovely green pepper. And you can see the baking dish with the sauce in it. I'm just gonna add this pepper right into that baking dish and move on to the next pepper. And we're just gonna keep on going till this pan is full. And you can see here, what a beautiful baking dish of peppers ready to go in the oven. The last thing I'm gonna do here is take some nutritional yeast and just kind of sprinkle it on top. This is optional. I just think it'll give it a nice little boost of cheesy flavor on the top. But if you don't wanna do this, that's fine. It's gonna taste amazing either way. And because we always have to do food photography with everything we do, we made another small little baking dish with just two other peppers in it. And you can see those right here. Now we're gonna to toss all of these peppers into the oven for 350 degrees and let it bake for 40 to 80 minutes. 40 minutes if you like the peppers al dente, 80 minutes if you like the peppers to be nice and soft. And here they are right out of the oven. They are looking amazing. These are ready to plate up. Let's see what they look like. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. We'll grab this green one right here and pop it right onto a plate. And then I'm gonna go back and grab some of this uh, sauce that we made and just kind of drizzle on the top here and around the plate. The sauce is the best part. You don't wanna miss any of that. And then we're just gonna plate it up here like as if we're gonna eat it because you know, this is a fancy channel. And Tim wants to cut it so you can kind of see what it looks like in the middle because this overhead shot doesn't really do a lot of justice of it. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna cut this and then we're gonna kind of give you a better view of it. And right here, you can see how good this looks. Oh man, I'm hungry. All right, let's eat. Oh man, this smells so good. All right, it really does. If, now, let me show you what we've got here. You can see here that we've got the, the beautiful peppers here. We chose, a, Tim chose a green one, a red one, and a half of an orange one. Uh, and we've got the mixture of our uh, Brussels sprouts and our Mexican squash there, just gorgeous. A full plate of food. Like, this is gonna be a lot to eat. Can't wait to dig in. All right, so I, we're gonna take a bite here and then we'll go over the chronometer numbers, okay? All Sounds good. Micros, macros. And then after that, some ideas of how this could be made different. So for the 400 calories, I came to like 440, right? Um, we got two and a half peppers each. And these peppers are like stuffed, like they're so full, right? Um, and, uh, but if we didn't do at least two peppers, if we needed two and a half, we would have wound up like a 375 calories. And, I don't want to go below 400, right? So uh, let's just see how this tastes. We made the sauce and everything ourselves. So like this, it's yeah. all ours. Yeah, all homemade. Oh, man. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. I love stuffed peppers. Like I didn't growing up, but I do. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Just knowing that there's lentils in here. In the video, which is uh, footage from the last time we made this, because there's no reason to record it again, 
it's, I think, white rice in the video. Yeah. We used wild rice this time because we had to make the rice. We didn't have any, when I made that video, we just threw in some all rice. This time we made wild rice, which is lower in calories actually. Uh, and the wild rice really gives it more of an earthier kind of texture taste, right? Absolutely. A difference. Since we're on this caloric journey, um, I generally thought that wild rice would help. It's lower in glycemic, it's got more fiber, and then we've got the lentils going on. Like, this is really good. Now, in this sauce, you can totally alternate uh, the peppers that are used in it. So if you want it spicy, some people like the sauce on the sweeter side. That is something you can change for sure. So, so the side dish we put here, mm. it's uh, Brussels sprouts and squash. Interesting, because when I put in the numbers of Brussels sprouts and squash, if you take... 350 grams of Brussels sprouts, you get, uh, I don't know, uh, it's 87 times five, they have 60, 32. Um, For calories? Yeah, like 600 or something. Like, a squash is a third of the calories of Brussels sprouts. And Brussels sprouts is low to start with. Squash is so low in calories because it is mostly water and water doesn't have calories. So if you're looking for low calorie foods to stuff your meals with, it's squash. So just one other tip to share with you. So throughout this week, I've been taking the basic zucchini saute recipe, which is a little bit of water. If you saute, it's got garlic and, and then I just been starting to add, like we had some teriyaki sauce that was oil free or some uh, tamari sauce, soy sauce. Um, and then I just started adding what vegetables I had in the refrigerator. And it ended up being really good to go with the potatoes that we went to work with or a sweet potato. Um, and so that's kind of what I just did tonight. We had just garlic, um, and I was sauteing, then we added some Brussels sprouts. They're, they're really on the small side. This, we got these from Trader Joe's. We didn't so cut them in half. We cut the, I didn't, we cut the ends off and that yeah, was it. I didn't even have to cut it in half. Anyway, super tasty. Um, so not, good. not bitter at all, like mm. really good. So anyway, mm. on the fly, that's what I've been doing. These are literally the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had. Like, just, and we just, we just kind of threw, we used stuff that we had in the fridge that we had to use and we threw in some like the bottoms of jars of, of like soy sauce and all that we had to get rid of. Yeah, I don't know, for so long, it's been hard to get the veggie side of the starch solution, but I've just been sauteing like this all week and mm. it's really good. Yeah. Everything's there. I think it's if you don't tasty. plan, it works better. You just kind of yeah. like throw it together. You're eating everything as well. Mm. Like, anyway, it's, good. it's really good. So I wanted to show you this side dish and how this could be successful with almost anything you pair it with if you're challenged for a non-starchy vegetable. Let's go over the macros. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw this sheet on the uh, on the screen here. So you can see here at the top, it says uh, Joey Troxel stuffed peppers. I, when I put stuff in Phenomenal, when I put custom recipes, I always call them my name. So when I have to, because if you go in and put, I want to find my, my stuffed, rep, reci, uh, stuffed pepper recipe, right? If I put a stuffed pepper, there's 350 recipes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how do I find mine? So I just put my name. In front. So if you're a chronometer and you search Joey Troxel, you're going to see all my custom recipes come up, right? And uh, that just helps me narrow them down. Now, there's still going to be 50 recipes with my name on it. But if you do Joey Troxel peppers, it'll come up, right? Um, you can see that that's there. And uh, I, one serving is a half a pepper, right? So this is two and a half servings. Uh, and that is 382.2 calories by itself. So, I mean, that's a, a pretty big chunk of the 400 calories right there, right? And then we threw uh, 350 grams of... Uh, Brussels sprouts in a pan and and 500 grams of uh, but of uh, Mexican squash right yep. in a pan yep. and we we used a quarter of the whole recipe right now right here so you had a quarter and I had a quarter yep. right or was it a quarter for the both of us no quarter yeah so so a quarter of that uh, winds up being uh, 87.5 grams for the for the Brussels sprouts and 125 grams for the the squash. Um, you, like on the, if you're counting calories, just throw the squash in, right? Like, don't even worry about counting it because you could have, you know, here you've got 125 grams for 21 calories. I mean, that's nothing, right? You could double that up and triple that up and you're still at like 75 calories. Like, that's nothing. So the whole thing together was 441 calories, most of it coming from the peppers. And that's because lentils are a starch and rice is a starch, right? This thing is loaded with starch in. But... I mean, we're not having uh, a lot of it, right? Uh, the peppers are a nice little vessel to hold them all. So together, 441 calories, 
uh, consumed in this meal, which I think is pretty good. Um, if you look at uh, some of this stuff, it's interesting. This meal gives you 64% of the fiber you need. Now, don't believe that. That's based on what the average person gets. And the average person doesn't get enough fiber. Yeah. So for us, this is a very small portion of our fiber, right? Uh, iron, 93% uh, iron. And you know where that's probably coming from? Spinach. Probably, yeah. Or the peppers, too. Yeah. yeah. Do you know peppers have more vitamin C than oranges? Yeah. Uh, which we'll probably get. Yeah, look at our vitamin C, 631%, right? 110% uh, of vitamin A, 52% uh, of folate, and 63% of... I mean, this is from one meal, right? Yeah. I feel like this needs to be on the short list for the holidays. Yeah. I mean, you know there's enough other bad things that people just bring if you're having people over, but this, you can have as their safe food. I know we made this place. with the peppers, but I'm all about the side dish in this right now. It's so good. So good? Yeah. Mm. That's worked for us all week. Uh, so I was excited to share that with you. And look, at it makes a plate of food. So. Okay. Is there anything you want to say about things you can do differently here? Um, I think we covered those as okay. far as like if you want your pasta sauce on the sweeter side or on the spicy side, you can control that. Yeah. We use wild rice instead of white rice, so you can change that out. Um, and then our side dish. I think it's a great option as far as Brussels sprouts or... That's the zucchini that's been laying around, like chop it up and get it in there. And I do, you buy so. that Costco zucchini, right? And then you don't use it for a week. You're like, oh man, I gotta use that up. And there's a great place to do it. Exactly. So the other thing is, if you're not slicing them in half, like if you're just doing the whole pepper with just the top, you can make the whole thing in the Instant Pot, right? Oh, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes. I did it this way because I specifically wanted them laying on their side for the presentation of this video. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you weren't watching, I would just cut the tops off, fill them up and throw them in the oven and throw them in the Instant Pot, right? All right. You know, there, there are people who don't like their food touching other things. So oh, yeah. having a container of bell pepper is right up some people's alley. You know? Yeah, so, I mean, anyway, I don't care. All right, that's our video for today. 400 calories of stuffed peppers, squash, Brussels sprouts, a whole dish of food. Plate of uh, food. Absolutely amazing. And uh, we're going to love this. I'm going to eat it all week. Hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell. you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know. Have you done the stuffed peppers like so many people have? So many people have, but it's just good reminder, and I hope this inspires you guys. All right. All right. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.